Hey, alien tourist. Hey, Zoe. And you are our first alien tourist. Hey, Kelly Loomis. Hey, Sea Girl. J. J. Dot. Maybe. Fiza. Sausages, Mama. You just don't jump down. Now you want back up. Hey, Sarosa. Hey, Perry. Hey, Jerkers. Hey, Moody. Hey, Angel. You see? Eh, it was okay. It was fun. It was fun hanging out with people. Hanging out with all, all you people. I love carbonara. So do I. I've never tried making it. I'm very nervous about it. Hey, Nasty. Hey, Wade Bowen. Hey, Fernanda. I'm very nervous about trying to make a spaghetti carbonara. Going to continue with the fresh shave. Uh, for thank, uh, for New Year's, I'll shave again. I'll shave again on New Year's, New Year's Eve. Um, not sure if I'll keep it up after that. Hey, Delaware. Just ordered a ton of Olive Garden. Cool. Uh, turkey leg, hello. G. Sarosa, nice to see you. Thank you very much, G. Sarosa. So good. Yeah, it's, it's, hey, kill face. It's one of those things that I think once you know what you're doing, it's easy to do. Um, but like the first, the first time or two, I think I get the feeling it's probably pretty easy to mess up. Like it seems like an easy recipe, but I get the feeling that it's probably also kind of easy to mess up. Hey, Jenna. I have to go live. I will, Delaware. I'm going live on New Year's. Yeah. I'll be counting down the new year with all, with everybody in the Eastern time zone anyway. Got to refill my water glass. I forgot to do that uh, before I came live. Should have done it before I went live. Oh, hi, Sarah. You never turn me boy. Hey, Elizabeth. Sam is up on my sink. My bathroom sink. Yeah. What? If I put you up in my lap, you're just going to jump right down. She wants treats. What she wants really is treats. I want to shout out to Olive Garden for not charging me because delivery was late. Oh, nice. And I'll serve them good. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, uh, that's nice though. Hey, Barbara. Hey, stuff. Consider painting my nails. Um, I don't really have enough nail to paint on the platform. See, like I said, I got I, what she wants is more treats. That's what she wants. She wants more treats. Uh, yeah, sure, Jada. Yeah. Need to, no, what she wants is more treats. I gave her some treats. I'll give her some more treats. And there's Sam. Not sure if you heard Sam getting down just now. If you heard a thump, that was Sam. I swear, Casey, you're gonna bankrupt us on treats. They want fresh water? I mean, there is fresh water. Uh, hey, Brooke. There is fresh water. Um, in fact, like, just right over there. No, what happened? Here's what happened. So whenever I shower, and he used to do the same for Chantel. Uh, whenever I shower, after I get out of the shower, he will come in and he will jump up on the sink. Not totally sure why. Didn't you stop by? Didn't you stop by at some point last night, J-Dot? Hey, Ashley Panda. Hey, Spoonie. Hey, hot sauce mustache. Uh, you're not very, you're not really late. It's been five minutes, hot sauce. I haven't even started yet. 
Hey, Loretta, I haven't even gone downstairs yet. Lady Elder? No. All right. It's too busy. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, did you have a good time with your uncle? Is that Carpenter Heart taste? I haven't made it yet. Missed the last few, so you just assumed you were late. You're fine this time, hot sauce. Hey, Sam. Hi, hey, Sam. Excuse me, Sam. Oh, big stretch even from Sam. Big stretch. Big stretch. Like meatballs for your spaghetti? Just a boring plain dinner. I'm just realizing that I completely forgot to clean off my uh, my frying pan. Using bacon? Yeah, I'm going to be using bacon. First, I do have to clean off the frying pan. Uh, I totally forgot to do that before. Yeah, hey, Master Jen, Papa John Pizza. Sorry, Kelly, I'm... It was a minor oversight, it was just an oversight. I totally forgot. I totally forgot that it was dirty. I just completely forgot that it was even dirty. It won't take long to clean it off, though. Just put water. Uh, I mean, I did do that. I... Won't take long to clean it off, though. Um, I actually had, like, mostly clean it already. I just need to... Uh... Oh, happy birthday, Brooke. Nice. Happy birthday. Never had spaghetti carbonara. Grapity. Made myself a dinner, but I literally don't know what it is. Fair enough.
Clean enough for me to fry bacon in it. Why do you like being so lazy? It's just easy. Just cheese. All right. Bacon. Ceiling mirror. And the recipes that I saw all called for garlic. I don't actually have garlic. I'm pretty sure that uh, Whenever my brother used to make it, I'm pretty sure he actually used to put a little bit of onion. A little bit of onion would go uh, fine in a uh, spaghetti carbonara, right? Left the pan dirty, it adds more flavor. Hey, Anonymous. Onion's always good, really. And I will need the tongs at some point during all this as well, so get the tongs out. Why do you not have garlic? I have garlic powder. I don't really like garlic, Jen. I don't really like I don't really enjoy garlic. Also, uh, I will confess, I'm really, really nervous about like how to Cut and mash garlic or cut and thing. Should shave my hair. Spoke to him five minutes before this live. He said he was high. Bacon grease is southern liquid gold. The garlic gets sticky. from making me cry as much. Garlic powder? Yeah, I'll, I've got garlic powder. I'll just use a, a lot of garlic powder. Anything? Uh, nothing today, but I mean, that's not really unusual. Take a bite of the onion like the cream. Do you have a candle? I don't, actually. Fine, you want me to take a bite of the onion? Right next to the onion you're cutting, and no tears at all. Oh. Yeah, I didn't get any uh, tears this time anyway. All right, and unless I'm very much mistaken, that's actually all the cutting I need to do, because I don't think. Three coming up. Yeah. All right. Uh, 
thick cut bacon. Yeah, it looks pretty thick cut. Believe it or not, I don't think I've ever actually uh, cooked bacon myself. Sam, of course. Pop the bacon in the freezer for a bit, Justin. Sorry, just uh, cutting the bacon package open. I did add oil to the pan. Whoops. Not sure this is, uh, not sure how well that fry will be, uh, as well as work. Yeah, this bacon, I don't know. I don't know about this bacon. I might not have gotten the best, uh, bacon for... I mean, it's always like it'll be getting, we'll be chopping it into chunks anyway. Jesus Christ. a lot of basics. Yeah. Knife skills, sauteing, just frying. Hey, Polly. Get back in. So I'm trying to get the bacon back in the pot. Ah, it's not going back in very well. Good enough. Okay. 
we go. There's cat. Well, Sam just uh, went to the bathroom. Hey, Steph. Hey, uh, Emmett. Annie. Hi, oh, Ariel. From a spaghetti and cat food, yep. Just had a thought. I just uh, got some tin foil out for when I need to uh, drain the bacon fat. Uh, Polly, not yet. I haven't done the uh, the eggs yet. Frying up the bacon first, and then I'll do the egg shit. Is that the wrong word to do it in? Entirely possible. Huge fan of eggy toast. Your towels. Yeah, make them nice. Uh, medium heat. Should I turn it up? Yep. Yeah. 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 Make my roommate too. Try bacon just get of the grease. Do you call it rusty? Uh, sort of. Then like it's on the high early. Damn bacon needs to come though. Get the medium. Come on, crisp it up. Starting to get a little bit crispy. Fifth of it are starting to get crispy finally. No, didn't hurt me. I don't have fresh grated cheese now. It's uh, something I didn't think about, so I got just fucking. I just got like the shitty craft cheese, craft uh, parmesan. Let's do bacon in the oven now. I know, I know at least. I know that. I know that much at least. So what do we think? Is that 
that good enough? I'm inclined to just call this good enough, frankly. Hey, baby. You know, like, I'm inclined to just call that, uh, good enough. Hey, Waterman. Scruff, stick in the air. Crisper, crispier, yeah. Fuck it. Hey, Angela. All right. That was maybe a bad idea. Put that over here to cool. Drop it up before frying? Yeah, maybe. I can drop it up after. All right. As always, I don't actually have, this is the only thing. No spoony. I put I poured it into a uh, bit of tin foil. I poured it into tin foil. I poured it into tin foil. Everybody, I didn't pour it down the I didn't pour it down the drain. I poured it into tin foil. strips uh yeah i know probably uh, i will or at least like or at least tear it into strips either cut or tear it into strips I'm, i know or chunks or something yeah Pasta, egg, bacon. What's next step? Next step is to get the egg ready. God. I am not doing a good job breaking them today. Parmesan cheese, yes. Recipe calls for three or four eggs. Give me a second. The uh, gonna wash my hands in here because of the. Uh... Just need to wash. Need to wash my hands in the bathroom instead of the uh, kitchen sink, just because of the uh, four eggs.
And I think normally you would use a whisk for this. I think you're supposed to like whisk it up, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Watch me. Well, I mean, I was just like rinsing it, basically rinsing my hands. Just yolks? I thought it was the whole thing. You sure? Just the yolks? Give me a second here. Sorry. Um, I mean, like, when I was looking at the, uh, the recipe I've been using, it doesn't specify that it's just the yolks. Crushed black pepper? Maybe. Just it. I think the recipe I was looking at called for like quarter cup or something of uh, or like a half like full cup of cheese, I think. Give me a second again. Okay. So yeah, it says uh, the recipe I was looking at says got about half a cup of cheese now. That'll do. Close enough to half a cup. And then I'm supposed to add another half cup uh, later. And black pepper, someone said. Give me a second. Not yet. There we go. I want to get like basically. I am sort of paranoid enough that I like prepare each bit before I do the next bit. So, how much black pepper should I be at again? I don't think it really needs salt. Not too much. Okay, pass the water. Yes, I did see that in the uh, recipe. Look, 
Even if this turns out good or it turns out a disaster and I order McDonald's. Hey, Anna. Right, exactly. Just have one cup of black pepper. That would be a lot of black pepper for for a one person meal. So sick, I can have a taste of right now. Yeah. What was that? Oh, right, because it's black. Pasta. Uh. Uh, one second, Spoonie said something. Uh, do not dump the eggs into the pasta without tempering them. You will end up with scrambled eggs. You need to add a couple teaspoons of pasta water to the egg to warm them a little before adding. Right, yes. That was in the recipe I read. Uh, I probably would have forgotten that. Good chance that I probably would have forgotten it, but uh, thank you for the reminder. There's a thought. Well, I need another. Hi, Ashley. Put your finger in the pan to check if it's hot. Can I think when I'm uh, when I'm doing the. Uh... I don't know, I could toss it just in the pot in the same pot. Right? So like when it gets to the point where it's time to like start tossing it, just I could just like pour this, like I could just like put the spaghetti and the egg into the uh, same pot that I boiled the spaghetti in, right? Hey backrooms. That'd be the like the sensible way to do it. This is Master Chef. So to see this. So am I, Shuri. salad bowl. Too bad I don't have a metal salad bowl. More pasta. Uh, I think this is enough pasta for just me. No, I, this, is, like, this is for just me. Well, I suppose maybe I could do... Maybe I could. And then, because I mean, like, the uh, carbonara sauce, that's probably enough for, like, a two-person meal. Won't reheat well. You sure? Actually, no, this is too much for even... Th that's too much for me for even two meals. Pasta and sauce together? Uh, well, no, you make the pasta, and then you throw in the... Uh, the carbonara sauce. Lobster ravioli next. Hey, panel. Uh, 
this to boiling. Eat too much garbage food as it is, so I wanted to add more pasta. Preheat fine with butter or oil. Thanks, Juice Happiness. Making variety of dishes. I'm trying there. I'm very gradually expanding. Need a colander? Yeah, I got I got one of those. I'm trying to expand the uh, the dishes I can cook. It's a very slow process. Very very slow process. Thanks, sausages. Thanks, Steph. I am decreeing that hot enough. I acknowledge when you're cooking makes me think you might be an alien. Entirely possible. You know what? I think this is too big for for what I was using it for. Where'd I put the oh that's Get off my fork. Come on, get in. Get in the pot. Get in the pot. Get in. Get in. There we go. Perfect. Steak? I wouldn't mind having a steak instead. And, uh, oh, I like bug. I, I like bugs. And uh, give me a second. I'm going to go back to check the uh, the recipe again. The recipe I was looking at actually says to move it to a bowl with, uh, to move it to a bowl. Give me a second. Another minute. Just a uh, place to move the spaghetti to.
And it's also occur occurring to me that I totally forgot to uh, cook the onions. They can. I mean, there's no reason you can't put onions in a carbonara. Just crumbling up the uh, the bacon a bit. of the pasta will at least like will cook the uh, the onion a little bit I think so fuck it Where's Casey? Who cares? Hopefully it turned out. Cooked already? Yeah, seemed cooked enough to me.
Watch out eating your spaghetti with creamy eggs because since they're all full eggs. Yeah. Actually, before I even bother dirtying a, uh, a plate, before I even bother dirtying a plate, You think it's scrambled? Let's give it a try, see how it turned out. Actually seems edible. Needs more Parmesan cheese, obviously. Definitely needs more Parmesan cheese. Come on, bacon. But it seems like it might not be too bad after all. Always more Parmesan cheese. That's the cheese you're using? I know. I know, it should have been uh, real cheese. I'm not scared of people. Well, no, because it's on the second floor. Hey, it's Wendy, or Cindy. All right, so here's the beauty bite. It's not perfect. It's not as good as other uh, spaghetti carbonaras I've had, but honestly, I don't think it turned out all that bad. Fuck it, I'm just gonna eat down here. Not going to go. Eh. No, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm fine eating this. It is good enough. Highest it can go. Not quite. Thanks, Eddie. Good. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's actually not too bad at all.
Or it looks fine. Yeah. I should have cooked the onion. I, I the, the onion needed to cook. I will say that the onion definitely needed to cook. That was uh, my biggest uh, mistake with it. I is, is I didn't actually cook the onion ahead of time. Yeah, come on. Shaky cheese contains wood pulp to keep from clumping and shipping and over time, so it'll be dry and not very mucky. That's another thing. Fresh Parmesan definitely would have made a difference as well. Like real Parmesan cheese definitely would have made a difference, but. But whatever. Pound deep pasta, just using a fork, no knife or spoon. Twirling? Ah, oh, you got a twirl. A lot of North Americans use a knife. I know. I mean, this is how you eat spaghetti. You just like... A lot of people will also use a... Uh, like, a lot of people will also use a spoon for... To twirl against. Like, a lot of people will twirl uh, against the, the spoon. Use a spoon to help me mix it with the sauce, but I'll actually use a fork for eating. Yeah, there are people who will eat it with a knife or somehow. Don't know that I've ever actually seen that, but I've heard of it. Take that fork in and go down, yeah. Slam your face into the plate. Whatever works, right? Whatever works. Throwing with a spoon isn't the thing, being Italian, one of those. Check from the car. Not yet. I'll do it this sometime. I'll do it this week. Potentially tonight. I might check the car tonight because I do have some, uh, I do have a big bag of trash to take out. I do have a bag of trash to take out if I can. Stuffed cabbage. It doesn't sound like something I'd enjoy. That said, the cabbage dish that I do want to try making one of these days is coleslaw. Is pasta hard? No. No, pasta's not hard. It's soft.
Uh, Polly, at this time, we have no uh, plans for moving. Either of us. We'll see what happens when she does get back, but at this time, it's not something that uh, we are intending. When did you stop using the plastic baby cutlery? I don't know. Hey, Frida. I mean, I don't even remember ever using uh, plastic baby cutlery. As far as I can remember, I've basically always used uh, real cutlery. Cake for dessert. Mm. That hard to clean? Is it that hard to clean up the stove? Yes, the SM it is. Never let up. Level up my utensil wheeling skills. Hey, Frieder. I thought I did say uh, hi when you came in, Frida. Thought I did say hi to you when you came in. Getting better with my cooking. Getting there. Um, as for what I'll make next, I don't know. Spray some liquid cleaning on the stove and let it sit for a few hours. I know, I know. Uh, no, I'm not what giraffe. What am I not? Is it busting? It's not bad. Hey, Sapphire. Hey, Elise. It's good. It's not bad. Sick right now, I don't want to eat too much. Meat. Fair enough. Getting better with my cooking? I mean, very gradually, Fluffy. I'm getting very gradually better. Uh oh. Whoops. 
Excuse me, everybody. Pour the rest of the pasta water down the drain. Just another second here, everybody. Probably need to do the uh, dishes. I'll probably need to put the dishwasher on the next day or two. Like I've got like one more day of dishes left. Here, whatever I make tomorrow will be beef. We'll have beef. So take the beef out to defrost. Might do meatloaf again tomorrow, just to finish off the uh, the last couple eggs I've got left. Hey, plain cheeseburger. Sam Bankman Freed met with a screenwriter, big short while under house arrest. Am I in the mood for cake just now? MG came in. Hey, MG. Hi, MG. One second. My tap water drinkable? Yep. Yeah. Via rail hell right now. Oof. I have a. Nah. Oh, good night, Dara. Beef Wellington tomorrow. Doubt it. I'll probably just make, I'm thinking I'll just make meatloaf tomorrow. Use up the last couple eggs I've got. Yep, we made spaghetti carbonara. Old Southern hippie and I have the best recipe for homemade Italian meatballs. And spaghetti. Uh, have my cake come out? Uh, I, it turned out well, Polly. I'm on the fence about whether to finish the cake off tonight or not. Make a sculpture out of the raw beef. 7 p.m. It's dark and I'm ready for bed. Oof. You had treats, you whiny. Can we top the cake with some pickles? 
spaghetti carbonara. Uh, it's spaghetti with egg. Basically, it's like pasta and egg. And bacon. Bacon or prosciutto or something like that, pancetta. Uh, just go. Yeah, I like to have a little. I like to have something a little bit of uh, a little bit sweet after I have uh, dinner. You know, just something a little bit sweet to get. The carbonara turned out not too bad. Sausages. It turned out not too bad. The. Uh, I really should have cooked the onion. Like, I really should have cooked the onion beforehand. And, uh, should have used fresh Parmesan rather than craft, uh, the, rather than the craft Parmesan. Anyway, someone uh, mentioned putting uh, pickles on the cake, and that reminds me. Last night, I had a dream that Chantal asked me to get uh, get her pickles from the fridge. Love flossy sticks. That's Casey. Whiny. I didn't request her. Uh, I don't think so, Spoonie. Um, hey, Julie. I'm picky enough that I'd be really uncomfortable with that. Try it again. I'm sure you'll perfect it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try it again uh, sometime. Normal interaction. It, it, it absolutely is key lime. And uh, pickle premonition. Yep. I mean, as soon as she gets home. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Spoonie. Like you said, I'm just really, really picky. So it's one of those things where sure. No, you don't put pickles on cake. But somebody made a joke. Somebody made a joke about putting cake pickles on uh, my cake. And it's like and it <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> I forgot to when I make fried rice. Yeah, yeah, I can try. I, I want to try fried rice again at some point. I forgot the food. Forgot to actually, I forgot to hate dreaming of real life events because I can't tell if they happen or not later. Or is it dreaming of work the whole day and then wake? I've never had that MG, but I've had the, I've had dreams where I dreamt that I woke up and like got ready for the day. And then I still had to get up and get ready for the day. Give me one minute. Just give me, uh, everybody just give me, I uh, didn't finish the cake just yet, but give me just one minute here, everybody. Hey, Lambo. <laughs> sorry about that, everybody. Just had to, uh, sorry about that. I just wanted to, while I was remembering, I just wanted to uh, message Chantel about, uh, about my dream. Sorry, just give me one more minute, everybody.
Sorry about that, everybody. I was just uh, messaging Chantel a little bit. And the dreams I have of me all the way back in elementary school is mildly concerning. It's been a while since I've had one of my uh, dreams of being back in high school. And uh, hey, Lambo, welcome back, Lambo. Yeah. You tried true fruit? Nope. My posters? No, plain cheeseburger. I'm not giving, I'm not selling my posters. About to start your home workout. Read my comment above, plain cheeseburger. About my post, about buying my posters? No, plain cheeseburger. They're they not for sale. No, Fluffy, it's fine. I just, I texted her earlier. Uh, I texted Chantel earlier saying that uh, I was getting concerned, getting uh, that I was getting concerned with, uh, hey, hi, Anna Hitchup. Hey, Rochelle. Um, anyway, yeah. I texted Chantel earlier saying that I was getting concerned with uh, Casey's uh, treat addiction. Uh, you know, she just wants treats all the time. You know, it's. It's gone to be a real problem. Uh, pretty sure I'm pretty sure she needs to go through a rehab. I'm pretty sure Casey needs uh, to go through a rehab for her treat addiction, because it's uh, it's gotten a real it's gotten re, uh, to be a serious problem with her. At this point, Casey has two modes. At this point. Casey has two modes, sleeping and whining for treats. Does she drink a lot of water? Uh, I don't think she drinks a lot of water. I mean, she drinks a regular, I, I feel like she drinks a regular amount of water. Yeah, basically... Basically, if Casey is awake, then she is whining for treats. Forget that she just said treats. I think she might. I think she might forget that. Trivia tonight? All right. No, no trivia tonight, Jen. Thursday, maybe. Might do it Thursday. Because I'm thinking tomorrow I will make meatloaf. And then I'll have uh, a leftover meatloaf that I can have on Thursday. Open a dating one of my viewers. Eh, I don't know. Maybe. Or Wednesday. Uh, no, Jen. We're currently on uh, Tuesday. This is Tuesday right now. Similarly dusty looking. Hey, Belly. Yeah, sorry. You missed me cooking. Turned out okay. At least I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. Better be Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. It is currently Tuesday. Six or 15 pounds of fresh boneless chicken breast between my husky and my cats two times a week. Don't know what day of the week it is anymore. Yeah. Hey, bunny star. You thought it was Wednesday? Who the hell even knows what days are anymore, you know? No, I haven't watched. Uh, I haven't watched Wednesday. <clears throat> I 
Seriously, I thought it was Wednesday too. Before we even started checking, talking about it, I had to check. Nah, it's Tuesday today. Just feed my cats twice a day and they rarely have treats. I always forget to buy treats for them for some reason. Jeez, your cats, your cats must love you. Your cats must love you, bugs. You miss your cat? I miss my Tim Tam. That I put uh, for me is what I'll eat. Uh, I will dress up. Uh, I will not decorate. Uh, what to eat? Well, that's a good question. What is my glad Christmas is over? Yep. Hmm. What do I want to have for, uh... New Year's resolution? Nah. What do I want to have for supper on New Year's Eve? Got Sebastian, age seven, monkey, age four, Simon, age two. My husky is four and they're all babies. Yep. Animals are all babies. And sauerkraut is traditional New Year's food for your buck. I mean, I could get pork chops, I guess, but. Pizza from scratch now. Yeah, nothing. Nothing up, uh, Habibi. Probably be having Doritos in New Year's. There. Pizza don't again now. Nah. Now nah, I don't want to make pizza. You too, Antonietta. Make some ribs or something. Eh. Sounds complicated. Any New Year's traditions? Nope. Uh, no, Tiny Fairy, I don't. Same Hubert? Maybe. I might just order out again. How are Casey and Sam? Well, Casey is in the hut cleaning herself right now. She's just uh, licking herself. Sam, I think, might be downstairs. What am I looking forward to in 2023? Buy oven pizza and add your own toppings. 
Uh, what am I looking forward to? Eh. It'll be fun to, to start my Let's Play of the Final Fantasy series. No one else do the thing on New Year's where you eat 12 grapes or is my family weird? Uh, your family might just be weird just scrolling. Your family might just be weird. The wet cat food? Uh, it's Performatrin. Performatrin is uh, the cat food that we buy. Gushy is what uh, we call it in my household. I call it gushy because uh, there's a webcomic by the name of Two Lumps, which is about a pair of cats, and they always call it gushy. Gushy food. They like the gush. Can I stay? For a little longer. Look forward to not having much YouTube drama in your life in 2023. Can I stay beardless? Um, probably not. Hey, J. Dot. Realistically, probably not for a while. Do my epic. I mean, it's just my, uh, it's just my Gigas t-shirt. It's very successful 2022. I did. Like a bit bigger than just Final Fantasy games for 2023. More books. I'll also be reading books. Uh, and I find 2022. Meh. Kind of interesting. Need to set a goal for my 2023 and don't know what. Take over the world. More books, yep. I got four books coming on the way. Goal is losing 40 pounds. Go to a bar. I don't like bars. I don't want to go to a bar. Ugh. Oh. Good night, Sapphire. Do a book call? Sure. Yeah, when they come in, I'll... <clears throat> When they come in, hopefully they'll get here before New Year's. Yeah, I suppose it doesn't really make that much, much of a difference. Yeah, once I get them, I'll uh, do a book haul. Nothing ever good comes up from bars. Found one and spent too much time in many. Like, I'm just not, like, I'm not a social person. Like, bars... Being surrounded by people I don't know, where with music I don't like, and drinks I don't drink. Worked in bars for years. God, I don't miss the smell, the noise, or the bullshit. Your nails are getting longer. Uh, yeah, I'll probably actually color purple. I will be clipping them. You'll be doing that same old boring and creepy things that you've been doing. Yep, that's the plan. Dominion in Ottawa is always fun unless it's recently changed. Like I said, I don't... Also, how old will I be in 2030? Uh, so that's another eight years. So that'll be 45. Be 45? Yeah, 45.
to be fair, uh, Giraffe, I have uh, serious self-image issues. So, like, yeah, me agreeing with you saying something mean about me doesn't really mean much. Because I say mean things about myself all the time. So. Uh, Bali, yes, uh, like, I'm about to turn, yes, yeah, so I'm about to turn 38. Somebody asked how old I would be in 2030. Like, somebody asked how old I will be in 2030. In 2030, I will be 45. Currently, I am uh, 37, just about to turn 38. Goal for 2023 is to make it to 2024. Been heart failure from long COVID last year. Yeah. On a side note, uh, yeah, another reason why I'm not interested in going to bars, COVID is not actually over. Hey, Sherry, welcome. Yeah, like, I'm not really comfortable going out anywhere where there's a lot of people. Like, I'm still... Finger nose are getting longer. I'm going to clip. I'm going to trim them soon, color purple. I'm going to clip them soon. Thanks, Amy. Bugs? Yeah, that is definitely something I want to get done. No, oh, I don't want them. The bartender, bar manager, then for 18 years. Hey, Gia. Yeah, like... You know, like, I wouldn't mind going to a theater to watch uh, the new Knives Out movie. But I'm not going to, because COVID. Which sucks. Thanks, just, uh, just scrolling. What's one thing I like about myself? Mm hmm. Just wear a mask. I, well, I know Blumpkin, but like, I want to eat popcorn at a theater. I want to eat popcorn at a theater. Feel a lot better once you start transition? Probably. Went to the theater many times and I get COVID. You should go to the night. Yeah. Haircut in New Year. Uh, I'll probably try to get a new, uh, haircut soon. I will also say going to a movie theater alone is never as entertaining, like never as fun as going with somebody. Want to do a makeover on me? Pass. Movie popcorn cost my weekly food budget. Just about tendies, but... It's part of the experience. You got to eat the popcorn. You got to get popcorn when you go to the theater, when you go to a movie. I love going by myself. Uh, I've gone, I've gone to a few movies by myself. Um, like there are a few times where I've gone to the movie theater by myself and, you know. Part of it. It was easier when I was within reasonable walking distance of a theater as well. What movie would I like to see? Uh, Glass Onion, the new Knives Out uh, movie. Like, I used to live maybe like 20 minute walk. Like it used to be like maybe a 20 minute walk for me to get to a movie theater, which, you know, not too bad. It's, you know, it was manageable. So, you know, I'd go down there and watch 
Um, Into the Spider-Verse, I did that way. Uh, there were some Ghibli movies uh, when there was a uh, sort of a Ghibli celebration a, couple, a few years back. Um, there was, uh, what else did I see and go to see by myself? Uh, Cats, I went to see by myself in the theater, and uh, Birds of Prey, I went to see by myself in the theater. Where I am now, I would have to cab to the movie theater and, uh, I'm cheap. This movie I saw before the pandemic was Parasite. I finished cooking. Yes, I finished cooking. Where is the nearest movie theater to me? Deep as well. Oh, yeah. But it is a part. Now what I get there from my place. Yeah, yeah it is a 40 minute walk. I just wanted to see uh, how far it would be to get to the uh, theater. But yeah, it'd be a 40 minute walk, so that's not walkable. Hey, Nancy. Four cups of what? Four to I mean, it's far enough. What would I go see? Especially in the winter. What would I go see? Like I said, the only the like the only movie right now that really in the the in the winter produce when it's when the temperature is below freezing. Local buses. That's sort of the problem I'm in, Amy. I do not know where the hell my bus uh, passes. Where my bus uh, passes? Yeah. Like, I have no idea what the hell I did with it. I must have thrown it out for some reason. Um, got paint set professional for my husband, from husband. Ooh, nice. Started to paint. Not good. Paint me something. Copy a poster from your background wall. It might be bad. Sounds good, Bally. That sounds... Have fun with that, you know? Enjoy learning. Just pay cash? I don't carry cash. Um, yeah, what I need to do is, like... I need to get down to a place where I can buy... A bus pass. Because, like, the way Ottawa works, um, they have, like, these cards that you load up. Like, they have, pres it's called Presto card. It's uh, just a card that you put money on whenever, like, they just have to load up. Um, I don't know what the hell happened to mine. I have no idea. I don't know why I would have thrown it out because, I mean, it's not like it costs money to keep. You used to live somewhere that's less accessible. I mean, yeah, but I mean, it's... I didn't really bust that much back then. I honestly didn't... I, I mean, like I said, the problem is that I, like, I need to get down somewhere to... It's $3. Yeah, and guess how and guess how much change I have, Blumpkin? Zero. I don't carry... I don't have cash. We're going to get a press card. Um, I mean, a lot of places. But... <laughs> None of them walkable, unfortunately. So I'd have to, like, I'd have to bus, like, I'd have to cab down somewhere to get a, to get a card, to get the bus card. It's just going to be, you know, it's not a big deal. It's just an inconvenience. And one that'll cost me, like, 15, 20 bucks in the grocery store. I uh, know. 
It's very specific locations. I don't think the uh, grocery store near me has that. Has that well? <clears throat> so I I will at some point. I'm sure I will at some point get uh my Presto card again. Like get a new Presto card is just. You get my groceries? Uh, yeah, I usually use uh, Uber, Uber Eats to get my groceries. Um, if I have a small enough, like if there's just a few things that I need to get, then I do sometimes walk down to the grocery store. I have walked to the grocery store a few times. Don't enjoy it. I do a vlog where I get a pink drink and haircut. Don't think I'll do a uh, vlog getting a haircut, but. <clears throat> Valentine's droid. Ugh. It's walking. Ugh. Well, Perry, like, I would rather take a taxi than an Uber. And uh, if I'm having to get somewhere, I'd rather take a taxi than use an Uber to get somewhere. Literally no sidewalks near my house. Like my front yard is pretty much a major roadway. I understand the struggle. That is uh, sometimes a problem. And I mean, sometimes like, there have been times where I have been walking in the, like where it's been winter and I've had to walk home and the sidewalks have been non-existent. Like, I remember once when I was working at Walmart. Uh, one time when I was working at Walmart. Uh, shift ended at 11 o'clock or midnight. I forget when, when it was that Walmart ended or closed. I think it was 11 o'clock that Walmart closed. So shift ended, like, right at the end of, like, end of the night. Um... It had been snowing for a while. The sidewalks just did not exist at that point. Like they were just completely covered. So I had to walk along the side of the road. So I had to walk along the side of the road and just like keep my eyes out for any other, for any cars coming so I could stick to the side. Do you laugh when you see people slip and fall on ice? Sometimes, GS, yeah, sometimes. <clears throat> and it's so small we don't have sidewalks anywhere we have no taxis buses or ubers you can't walk on the road because it's the south and people will shoot you for walking on their lawn uh that i'm not sure jen i'm not sure if they say that how would i get to a job bus i think like, i'd get a bus like I said, it's just, I'll just need to sort of, at some point, get somewhere. Apparently, Hogmanay is a uh, Scottish thing. Transfer stuff. It's not fucking daunting, Nancy. I've bust before. I've taken a bus before, Nancy. Fuck off. Do 
I know how to tie shoes. Yes, but I could not describe how. Thus gave Christmas the wreaths one year. We were mocking them. Co-worker slipped in the ice and the wreath scratched up his nose. It was karma, but super funny. Uh, for fucks! <sighs> fucking whatever, Nancy. Fine, I'm fucking competent. I can't do fucking anything for myself, Nancy. Fuck it. Fine, whatever. Believe what you want. I don't fucking care. <clears throat> fucking fine. I'm just, I'm shitty. I'm useless. Uh, I'm absolute fucking trash. Fucking believe whatever you want. I don't fucking care anymore, Nancy. Fuck off. Fuck off, Fluffy. And fuck off, Nancy. You're a fucking idiot. Like, didn't you, like, you're not, you don't listen to what I say, so fuck off. Just, if you're not going to listen to anything I say, then just fuck off anyway. All I was saying, all I said is that, you know, getting another fuck, is that getting another fucking Presto card is going to be a minor inconvenience. That's all I fucking said. So fuck off, Nancy. Get the fuck out of here. Go the fuck away, asshole. Christ. Hey, Tiffany. I still don't see any need for mods right now, Gia. Hey, Ageless. OC Transpo's a nightmare. I never found OC Transpo that bad. Um... Is it safe to be out of Nanda Canada? I mean, most places, Anunnaki, yeah, you're fine. Most places in Canada, yeah, you're... Not in any trouble if you're out at night. Mean squirrel in our yard named Fluffy. Money or death? Hey, Veil Future. Yeah, whatever, Nancy. I'm not saying anything I haven't fucking heard before. Vision? Uh, as far as I know, I've never had my vision tested, but as far as I'm aware, it seems to be pretty much uh, perfect. Nah, Fluffy, you're just an asshole. Like, Fluffy, you're just consistently just straight up a fucking asshole. So... Ooh, I'm just speaking the truth. Nah, you're just being a dickwad. Just being a douchebag. Even Florida winters are too cold for me to be walking in my woods. Had the management at Walmart treat when I was there. Uh, exploitatively. Like, they didn't care. Like, there was never... At no point in the time that I was working at Walmart did I get the impression that management gave... had any interest in me. 
that they cared about me in the slightest. At no point did they give any indication that they cared about me in the absolute slightest. Like, the floor supervisors, they were nice. The, the floor supervisors, they were nice people. They were cool. They were good people. But the back, the back office? No, he didn't fucking care. Like, literally, like, I get fucking sick and he tries to fucking guilt me for it. Took a three-hour break while working at Walmart because he literally did not keep track of who was working. Is a cor corporation the not? But at the same time, like, I feel like management should make some effort to treat you like a human being and not just a fucking number on a sheet. You know, they should at least try. Work crushes? Nah. Nah, everyone at my job was either significantly older than me or significantly younger than me. So, work crush is not a thing. Vendor to Walmart, so we're from vacation on the way here, then talk to the staff, I have to bite my tongue all the time, yeah. Why is the number in a cheek? But like, there was one time that, and like I, like, I rarely actually missed work. So like, there was one time that I was feeling like absolute shit. Uh, you know, I'd gone into work and you know, and something about the heat that day had hit me, like something about the heat had hit me really hard that day. So like, I could barely, like I could barely stay standing. You know, like I was lightheaded and nauseous and just like, and I'd been there for two hours already. So I'd been there like for, you know, two hours out of an eight hour shift. Um, So I'd already been there a couple hours. Uh, and like, I just finished my break and the break room is fucking miserably hot. Like the, the break room at that place was, utter, was absolutely miserably fucking hot. So that didn't help me at all. Young sitting in the break room, not even a tiny little bit of help, uh, assistance. Didn't make me feel better at all. Um, so I'd hit a point where it's like, no, I cannot get through this day. There is no way that I will be getting through this day. So went to the manager and told him that, you know, that I was feeling like shit. Um, that the heat had hit me really hard. Break room hadn't helped. Uh, like taking a break hadn't helped. That I was just feeling like shit um, and that I needed to go home. Dude tried to fucking guilt me into staying. Like, the dude tried to guilt me into staying, and I'm like, no. This isn't, like, it wasn't a, I don't, I just don't feel like being here, so I'm gonna uh, skip. No, it's, like, I was rarely even late. Like, I was rarely ever even late. Like, never mind absent. It was rare for me to even show up late to a shift. I was always on time. I had good attendance. You know, clearly, clearly I was not someone who would skip work just because I didn't feel like working. Clearly, I was, some, I was someone who cared about, like, who put stock into being there when I'm supposed to be there. And... Work. No, I treated work like work. Yep, I'm supposed to be there. I'm there. Like I treat it like I treated work like I'm I treat work like work. I, if I'm supposed to be there, I was there. And you know, you'd think after a year of that, you'd think at some point. Like, you would think that at some point, like, that would mean something, right? You would think it... Shut the fuck up, Fluffy. I'm gonna fucking block you soon, you fucking dickwad. You are so fucking useless, Fluffy. But yeah, anyway, 
you think that at some point, you think that that would build up some level of respect or like not even necessarily respect, but like you think that at some point, hey, Norma, they would recognize that if I'm, if I'm requesting to go home, it is because I genuinely cannot finish the day. That I cannot, I genuinely cannot finish the shift. Like you would think at some point they would recognize that I'm not, that if I'm asking to go home or if I'm saying I'm going, I wasn't asking, I was saying, but at some point, if I'm saying that I'm going home, that I'm not feeling well, that like, they would recognize that I'm not, that it's because I genuinely have to go home. But like, the manager didn't see it that way. He tried to guilt me into talking it, about it. I guilt me into staying. And I'm like, no, like, I can't stay. I don't feel well enough to stay. If I stay, I'm going to fucking throw up. Do you want me to fucking throw up, Mr. Manager? Like, is that you want me to throw up and pass out? Because that's what's going to fucking happen if I stay. So, like, at some goddamn point, you would think that it'd be like, oh, shit, uh, you know, oh, shit, okay, that's, you know, that's, I, I, I get that. You're, you don't, you don't skip off it. You don't, you know, you're not the type to skip. You know, I understand. You'd think he'd try to be understanding, but no, he did he wasn't. He didn't make any effort to be compassionate. And like another time, I got, may have been short staffed. If they were short staffed to BB, that's on the manager. That's on management if they are short staffed. If they don't have enough people in the store to be able to cover one person uh, being absent, that is on management. That is not on the worker who is absent. That is on the management. If you can't deal with one person being uh, out, then maybe you shouldn't be booking. Maybe you shouldn't be scheduling so specifically not all managers yeah most managers i think are probably uh not jerks one of the only people i know who of who never call out of work and i tell them to daily and i got zero leeway for three times my life i need to leave for matrices yeah it can be hard to count for every possibility all the time sure but the truth is Walmart is usually Walmart is regularly understaffed because Walmart chooses to be understaffed. Walmart actually makes a dis conscious decision to not have enough people. Walmart as a Walmart as a corporation makes a very deliberate decision to not have enough staff. Because they want to cut the absolute bottom fucking penny. They want to account for the right down to the fucking penny. They do not want anybody. They do not want a single person getting any money, any uh, getting, or they do not want to spend a single penny that they do not need to spend. Walmart's near me and never fully stocked and barely any employees. Yeah. It's like they, because they do not want to spend a single penny more than they are absolutely required to. You got almost sell, sell, sell checkouts because they hate their employees. Walmart hates their employees, frankly. Walmart hates, 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 hates the people who work for them. They want to get rid of every single employee they have. Um, so yeah. Complaint of ah, fucking whatever, Rochelle. What did the vet when they are such a big corporation? 
Uh, because they're such a big corporation. They do it because they're such a big corporation. Fuck off, Nancy. Shut the fuck up, you asshole. Uh, Anunnaki, I was part-time because Walmart at that time was not covering, was not hiring full-time employees. Walmart did not hire full-time employees. Because full-time employees get benefits. They're not going to, they don't want to give employees benefits. Benefits? You mean more money out of their pockets? So no, it was part-time. Part-time, because that was all they did, because they fucking loathe their employees. Absolutely despise their employees. You would complain? No, I mean, probably Rochelle, but, <laughs> but I've had full-time jobs. Yeah, Walmart despises, loathes the uh, their employees. They do not want to spend any money at all on the people who work for them. The people who work for them are straight up... Uh, burdens as far as Walmart is concerned. They are a cost. Blood working uh I'm not comfortable around old people, Gia. That's it honestly does make me uncomfortable. Local non corporate places are better for employment. Generally. Smaller businesses do try to care about their employees because, you know, your daughter loves working at Walmart. I don't under, I don't know how, Shannon. Old people visit the library a lot. Yep. Yeah, they do. Um, they are one of the, uh, they are definitely one of the library's biggest uh, demographics. When I was uh, back in uh, back when I was in college, back when I, yeah, back when I was in college, um, there was a uh, I did a placement at uh, a branch of Ottawa Public Library. I don't remember which branch it was. I cannot for the life of me remember which branch of uh, OPL it was. Um, but yeah, I did a placement at one at some branch of Ottawa Public Library, and there was this one. Older dude. Looks so much like uh, George R. R. Martin. Guy looks so much like George R. R. Martin. It was hilarious. Uh, he had his own, like, cart for all his holds. Because, like, with public libraries, you can sort of request uh, holds. Uh, you can request that they hold books for you. Um... Yeah, and you know they'll yeah they've got like most most public libraries will have uh, a section a set of bookcases where they put all the reserved books. I'm not judging one of his appearance produce. I was just saying how hilarious like I was just saying that he looked so much like George R. R. Martin. Um, yeah, this guy took out so many books. That rather than just putting them on the bookshelf, they just had, like, a book cart that all his holds got put on. Because he took out so many, there was no point in, uh... Yeah, he just took out so many. And, it, and he seemed to read them all. Yeah, it seems that he did read them all. It was just... ton of books. Say so yeah, he'd come in like every day. He'd come in every every few days to get a, another bunch of books. Get another handful of books. May have been a speed reader. Clearly, Amy, clearly he read fast. 
And it was and like every genre too. Like it's Uh, I work for Walmart, on Walmart as of right now. Overall, it's not bad, but you do have to pick up the slack sometimes based off the manager's inactions in this restroom. Yep. Uh, ever witnessed anything crazy at the job? Um, nothing comes to mind from any of my jobs, honestly. But I was never very observant. So <laughs> I am uh, one of the least observant people you ever witnessed. See, I am totally oblivious. So, like, did I see anything crazy? Hi, ugly. That, yeah, that might be the craziest, like that might be the wildest thing that happened at any of my jobs was working at a call center and they brought in a dude to want uh, to walk the floor playing bagpipes. I like the bagpipes. But they are the loudest instrument known to man. They are the loudest instrument ever created. And this call center thought that it would be a good idea to have a bagpiper play on the on the call center floor. Like, why? Why? Like, why would you do that? Hey, Barney. Definitely not suitable for a call center. Yeah. I have to wonder how many people just had to like mute, like put themselves on mute for mute for like two minutes for your entertainment. Uh, what are we talking about? Your mom, Barney. To put the customers on hold. <laughs> yeah, just, just sit there like, hey, sir, they got a bagpiper wandering the floor. You mind if I put you on hold for a minute? Yeah. <clears throat> think you're funny? Not really. <laughs> I don't really think I'm very funny. I had a guy come into electronics and claim the government was spying on him. They implanted trackers on his phone. I mean, wasn't necessarily wrong. He wasn't necessarily wrong about that. It's just the government probably just didn't really care what he was doing. They probably weren't paying any attention to him. A profession that is a deal breaker. Huh. I don't know. Conservative and conservative member of parliament. Conservative member of parliament, that'd be a deal breaking profession. Cops, probably, yeah. Tell you what, push, tell you what, Putin push. I'm going to fucking block you, Putin Push. What does Chantel smell like? Mm -hmm. It varies.
Sometimes like cheese, sometimes like farts, sometimes like whatever her, uh, whatever her bath stuff smells like. Buys a lot of Lush products, yeah. Probably sometimes, yeah, sometimes smells like uh, Lush. Just make a perfume, you'll be a made man. Would you ever clone your PPM sell them? I don't think so, Gia. Sophie? Anyone I've blocked, Sophie, is uh, going to be blocked forever. I'm not going to do any unblockings. Because frankly, looking for, looking for a name, uh, I've got enough people blocked that looking for any specific person's name would be a pain in the ass. Strangest chat you've ever seen. Why cut my beard? Because I wanted to wear my skirt. He also claimed he had a million dollars the government was holding from him. Literally said they show up at the bank every time to stop him from taking the money out as wild. Ah. It was always fun talking to the people who knew the CEO of whatever. Back when I was like doing, back when I was like AT&T, back when I was doing customer service for AT&T, always fun talking to the people who knew the CEO. It's like, fine, then call him. <laughs> call him, I don't care. Yeah, there's always, there's always somebody who's, you know, I'm friends with the CEO. It's like, yeah, no, you're not. No, you absolutely are not friends with the CEO. How are the kitties? They're fine. Like, if you were the, if you were friends with the CEO, you would have your personal assistant uh, calling in to handle whatever bullshit you're dealing with. Thoughts on olives? Ew, hate olives. Hey, saying, dear. Yeah, olives, I hate olives. Cannot stand the smell of olives. Just the smell of them grosses me out. Hey, Rachel. the leader of pickle juice. Chantel is not bobbing for apples. Welcome. Welcome back. Still here. Welcome back. Chantel is not bobbing for apples. Hashtag save ugly over there. Love black olives. Black olives. Hey, wait, no more. Fairly certain he was high on drugs or schizophrenic? Probably. Probably schizophrenic. Uh, or like some mental health issue. Probably some mental health issue. Hey, Lexi. I remember when I was doing customer service for uh, for Canada Post, I had somebody call in. Um, really angry right off the bat. 
uh, and like abusive off of the bat. Hey, Northern Lights. And uh, when I finally managed to pull up the, uh, like when I finally got enough information from him to pull up uh, his account, there was a note on his file from the store saying that he'd been banned from that specific uh, Canada Post location for being uh, abusive towards staff. Um, he said it was because it was, he was gay. And, like, he actually, like, threw around the F slur. And, like, he was, like, he was really shitty. Like, he was a really shitty person. So when I finally got to hang it, so I gave him a couple warnings. Like, I don't appreciate that kind of language. Uh, you know, if you keep talking, if you keep using that kind of language, I'm going to uh, hang up. And then I finally got to hang up on him. Felt great. <laughs> Canadian's not nice all the time. Of course not, Habibi. Some Canadian, some Canadians can be assholes. And this guy was one of those assholes. And getting to hang up on him was really satisfying. One of my favorite things to do to help me relax. Sleep, I guess. Worse is when they threaten self-harm. Street takeover? I'm not sure what a street takeover is, Anunnaki. Like, I don't even know what a street takeover is. Sounds like it was a fun job. Eh, not really. Um, I hated it. I mean, I suppose hated is a uh, strong word. Honestly, I didn't, I did not enjoy working, uh, doing customer service for Canada Post. Because it was so hard to actually resolve things. Like, it's, it was not a satisfying job, I found. Like, it was, like, it was rare that I would actually be able to solve a problem for a customer on the phone. Um, that you need to deal cell phone plans and the customer's threatened cell farm. It's, you'd be surprised, Nancy. You'd be surprised. But, like, when I was doing, for Canada Post, what'll happen? Like, if a package can't be found, obviously, you know, I'm in a call center. I'm not going to be the one going to the, you know, I work at, I worked at a call center. Obviously, I couldn't go to the uh, depots to search for the packages, you know? Clearly. Um, and so what you'd have to do is you'd have to file a ticket to have whatever problem is to have that sent to uh, somebody local who could fix whatever the issue is. And I just found that unsatisfying a lot of times. Have a nice place, but I was great on phones. Uh, I mean, generally. What is on my hand? Oh, uh, it is a, uh, just a wristband. It's a uh, bracelet. Uh, features a quote from the comic Pretty Deadly. The hummingbird simply must work harder in the rain. So yeah, it's... Like, Canada Post sort of works the way it has to work. Um, but I, like I said, I did not find it I did not find it a satisfying job because mo because most of the calls came down to filling out a ticket to have somebody else fix it. And it's just like, <sighs> you don't get the satisfaction of actually being able to help the person, you know? You just have to tell the person, yeah, we'll get it fixed when it picks. We'll get it, you know, we'll get it taken care of for you. We'll get someone else, I'll get someone else to take care of it for you.
you know, like the all other call centers I worked at. At the very least, you could, you know, at least some of the time, the customers would leave with their issue already resolved. Uh, Rachel, hi. I am Canadian. I'm Canadian, Rachel. Yeah, at least like when, you know, when I was working for AT&T or when I was working for Rogers, I couldn't always, like, I couldn't always provide the customers the help that I wanted to, but you know, often enough, I could resolve an issue. Have I ever had a job I've enjoyed? Nah, just scrolling, I haven't. I haven't had any jobs that I've enjoyed. Call centers and Walmart. It's you know, it's no one enjoy like no one enjoys working at a call center. You just sort of handle working at a call center. You survive working at a call center. Um, hey, Miss Ollie. And then you know Walmart being a cashier at Walmart again, not really enjoyable, especially. Yeah. Do I have issues with eye contact? I do, Gia. I do have issues with eye contact. I do, in fact, have issues with eye contact. But, uh, again, like, like I said, when I was in high school, I did a couple of placements, library placements. They were only for a few weeks, but those I enjoyed. Those ones were those uh, bad eye contact makes people uncomfortable. Any eye contact makes me uncomfortable, Nancy. Would I work for a nonprofit? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, there was a branch of OPL, and I also worked in the library of was it the Human Rights Commission. I think it was the Human Rights, uh, I think it's the uh, Human Rights Commission. Kindergarten aid. It's been a while. Um, you know, it's been a while, but I, it was Human Rights. I think, I think Human Rights Commission, I think it's called. Might be Human Rights Division, but whatever. Yeah, I worked in the library for the uh, Human Rights Commission, which was uh, pretty good, pretty cool as well. Really small office, like it's uh, very. It was a like is two other people who worked there. Like there were two people who worked there, uh, and then me as just a uh, temporary. Uh, interest in remote jobs? Yeah, sure. Working at a bookstore? Yeah, bookstore. I'd be fine working at a bookstore. Uh, working at a bookstore, I think, would be uh, a lot of fun. No Canadian. That was my Christmas. That yeah, was fine. Don't have to get it. Uh, I. Honestly, Keem, I probably do. Bookstore would be cool. It would, but it's it's hard to get. It's hard to get a, uh, employed at a bookstore. You kind of like that'll be a lot on New Year's Eve. Eh. Not really. I still miss my friend. Yeah, bookstores, it's just really hard getting a job at a bookstore. Do data entry. I've looked for data entry jobs and like I couldn't find any that were actual data entry. Like last time I searched for data entry jobs, none of them were actual data entry for s somehow. So I shuffle my own? No. I don't think I've got that in me.
Yeah, I hope so, Belly. Army? No. I was a member of the uh, Air Force Cadets. Uh, hello to Cassandra's sister, Juliana. Internet safety or internet reader. Do I know how to fly a plane? <laughs> no, I do not know how to fly a plane. And uh, I don't think I have the money to learn how to fly a plane. It's not cheap. Honestly, it's not, from what I understand, it's not cheap learning how to fly a plane. Like flight lessons, flying lessons are not cheap. Do I like bowling? Uh, not particularly. Do temp agencies still exist? Uh, probably, I think so. Planes give me maximum anxiety. Planes never gave me anxiety. Like, it's in, it's weird. Like, despite the fact that I am scared of heights, despite the fact that I get uncomfortable standing on, standing on a stepladder, like, I get, ner like, genuinely, I get uncomfortable on a stepladder. Planes never made me nervous. Sorry, Sophie. There's a part of me that actually misses flying. Yeah, I haven't been on a plane since I was like... 15, 15 or 16 years old. You know, it's been over 20 years since I've been on a plane and I kind of miss it. Having said that, I was actually a shitty traveler. I actually am a shitty traveler. I will admit that as well. Uh, jet lag would fuck me up hard. Jet lag always fucked me up so hard. It would take me two weeks to recover. Hard to tell if I'd be as bad now uh, as an adult. I have no idea if, if I'd be as bad as an adult, but. My ideal vacation be Scotland. I'd love to go back to Scotland. Should start taking multivitamins. At... But the. I mean, when I was a kid, like when I was a kid, jet lag just absolutely wrecked me that's i don't think it's that unusual some people aren't good at traveling north korea vacation documentary yeah if you want me in prison gia aberdeen yeah yeah sure aberdeen sure just all around scotland i'd like to go all around scotland For a lag of you as a whole that is carried into your adult, that is fine. My pattern to... Any specific hotel in Aberdeen? No? I don't know that I've ever been to Aberdeen. Have I been to Aberdeen? I have no idea if I've been to Aberdeen or not. It's been a long time. 
since I've been to Scotland. And all over the world, 42 cities at least, because I might have forgotten some. Ireland, I was not. I went to Ireland. It's not something that feels very likely to me, but I would really love like a two month trip to Scotland. Yeah, I think like that'd be sort of like almost be like the ideal for me would be like full two month visit to Scotland. Hey, Strawberry Punch. Hey, Glasgow. You know, spend, maybe spend like a full week just in Edinburgh for Fringe Festival and for uh, the military tattoo. Um, and then just, uh, you know, hit various other places throughout the country. Hey, yeah, West. Like I said, it's not likely that I'd ever I get to have uh, spend that much time uh, in Scotland, though. Or anywhere. That was getting... It uh, wasn't bad, Strawberry Punch. It wasn't bad at all. Love to go shopping in Japan. Japan, I would probably be okay with a one to two week trip. Uh, boyfriend has to travel for work. China trips are brutal. Eh. Cause like Japan, all I really want to see in Japan is the Ghibli theme park and the Ghibli museum. So like a week or so would be enough for that. Which is a flight from Ottawa to Niagara Falls. Uh, no idea, Samsara. Nintendo World in Japan. Yeah, actually, yeah, Jap Nintendo World might be good to see as well. That's it. Yeah, that's basically it, maybe. So maybe make it a two-week trip. So Ghibli theme, Ghibli theme Park, Ghibli Museum. And Nintendo World, the shrines. Hey, Saka. Do I want a Japanese girlfriend? I'm doing. No, nah, it's it's the uh, the top. It's like the uh, the bit you pull off the top of a uh, candy pack. Didn't like sushi. Nope. Wonderful scenery. I'd love to visit the rural parts and hike mountains. I am not really a rural type of person. I'm not like a scenery type of person. Your Canadian money is with lunch pan. Couldn't tell you. I like bugs. See, so yeah, I like. Uh, I have. I am not the type for like to get caught up on scenery on beautiful scenery and everything. Do I believe in aliens? No. Yeah. Japanese dolls. Would I go to Hogwarts? Hell no, Gio. No. You could not pay me to go to Hogwarts. Hmm. 
you could not pay me to do anything in uh to do with Harry Potter. Uh, when am I gonna get to mods, Hannibal? When I feel like they are necessary, Hannibal. Disneyland, nah. Nah, Disneyland's never uh, interested me. Like, I've never been interested in Disneyland at all. Yeah, it's, always, it's just, it's never appealed to me. Even as a kid, I never had any, like, even when I was a kid, I never had any sort of like, ooh, I want to go to Disneyland, I don't want to go to Disneyland. I never really cared much. YouTuber who bought a house in Japan for $400. Oh, nice. Uh, at least, no, I have not. I never have. Six Flags? I'm not really an amusement park type of person. Amusement parks in general never really did much for me. The only one I ever really went to was uh, La Ronde in Montreal. How does one continue to make Canadian bucks while living in Japan? Uh, I suppose remote work scrolling. Cook, how was it? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. East of Mario's, ah, uh, nah. East Side Mario's, I never, I never really enjoyed, I never really liked East Side Mario's much. I don't know, the food, the food there didn't really, wasn't really great. I never found the food to be great. And I always found the place noisy. Like, I don't know what it is, but I always found Eastside Mario's to be really noisy. Like a really loud restaurant. Don't think there's anything else out there. Uh, I mean, there probably is other life in the universe, uh, Bugs. None of it's ever visited Earth. That's the thing, like when people, like, is there other life in the universe? Probably. Statistically, it seems likely to me. Uh, has it ever visited Earth? No. Never. Alien life has not visited Earth, ever. And it probably never will. We will probably never actually encounter uh, extraterrestrial... I mean, bacteria, maybe. Like, we might try, like, we might encounter uh, bacteria from other life, or from other, from outside the solar system, but we will never encounter uh, sentient alien life. Legal to eat moose like it's illegal to eat horse. Uh, no, just scrolling. No. Would I date an alien? Depends what, depends what she looks like, I guess. Hmm. <sighs> Anyway, I think I'm, uh, hey, trolling. I think I'm ready to. To end the stream. I'm about ready to get off here for, for the night. Why? Eh, yeah, because I'm tired, uh, at least. early it's almost nine o'clock i've been on for i've been on for close to three hours now i've been on for over two and a half hours so so yeah yeah sorry alien tourist i don't believe in you i don't believe you exist alien tourist sorry Did you, everything good yeah i ate and this is fine um so I'm leaving. Uh, 
and uh, yeah, thanks for coming. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.